Hey guys. Purple, yellow, and red. What's up, guys? It's Henry, and welcome back to my channel, to my YouTube channel. I should actually stop promoting my YouTube channel in the introduction because I feel like that's not very smart. I actually did it just again, but... All right, just let me restart. What's up, guys? Welcome back to my channel. I'm Henry. I hope you guys are doing well because I'm, I'm doing pretty good today. And I'm very, very excited about today's video because I've asked you like a while ago what I should film next. So I picked up some ideas thanks to you guys. One of the ideas I want to share with you today because you guys asked me if I could embroider on shoes and I haven't done that before. I've customized shoes before but I've never customized them by embroider on them. I usually am not that type of guy that purchases anything on Black Friday because I always feel like I'm so like pressured to buy something that I actually don't need but this time it came in pretty handy because I could order my chucks. They finally came in today. These are the chucks I've um, ordered. These are like the 70s high tops and I thought we're going to embroider something around here. Let's see how this is going to turn out because I figured out these are pretty thick. Like the material is pretty thick. Uh, I have as you might know these kind of shoes and I absolutely love them. This is why I got the idea to reproduce them in a similar way with black chucks. I really like the design of these rolling hearts so I thought I'm going to do this same kind of style. So I asked you guys on my social media what I should actually embroider and I had the idea of doing smiley faces, flower smiley faces, ghost smiley faces and um, what I found pretty cute was egg sunny side up with a smiley face in the little yellow part. Let me check what is like your decision on that. All right I'm back. I've made my decision about what I'm going to embroider. The shoe is black. I wouldn't want to go too crazy by going too colorful with the design. I think like the best design which fits on these kind of shoes would be the ghosts. And since I really like ghosts as well, next to smiley faces, obviously, I think this will turn out pretty dope. Let's jump right into the embroidery process. I'm gonna take you guys with me, how I'm doing this, what are my experience and stuff like that. But before we start that, we actually have to design our little design. Okay, first of all, I had to figure out what kind of size I wanna have. I printed them out in different sizes and I figured out that the smallest size is the perfect size for the shoe and what I did then I turned them around played a little bit around with the design so I have them all in the right size here and I'm going to print out this and then we're gonna cut this out and put it on a shoe which will actually look like this all right for this design I only need black and white embroidery floss so this is very very simple since we do not want to have it that thick I'm always separating the thread into two pieces. So usually the thread contains out of six strands but we are only working with three strands. And then we're gonna pick our embroidery needle. These have to be out of metal especially if you want to go through thick material since there are also plastic needles which are completely bullshit. <laughs> What I do next is I'm going to put the thread through my needle and then I secure the end of my thread with two knots. We do not need a embroidery hoop for this shoe because since it's so thick material it will stay in place all the time. What we are going to do now is that we are working always from the inside to the outside of our um, embroidery. So. I have my needle now from poking from the inside to the outside. As you can see the material is very thick so this will take up strong hands but it's working. So what we are going to do is we are embroidering the normal outline of our design. This is going to be lots of Pain. And what we are going to do now to define our split stitch is we are splitting our thread by going a little bit back in our stitch, poke 
our needle outside to the outside again go way further of our outline All right, our first little ghost, the outline of our first little ghost is done. As you can see from the inside, I'm going to secure this by doing a little knot on top. And this is quite easy if you working with your thumb by pressing the little um, knot to the material. When you have done your little knot, um, you just cut it. So I figured when you work on very thick uh, material you might struggle getting your needle through this material actually because it's quite thick. It always helps to circle your needle a little bit. Um, by circling I mean like this. So because this will open up your fabric or the or makes the little hole you create with your needle a little bit bigger and then you can easily pull your needle through the fabric. All right, I'm done. And what we are going to do now, um, we are removing the paper by sprinkling some water on it. So I have my sprinkling bottle here. So you do not have to have it in a sprinkling bottle. It can also be just bare water. And what we are going to do, we are applying the water on the paper. So in order to have it wet, and then we are going to work it in a little bit and then we can easily try to remove it. What I can fully recommend is using a nail scissors to remove little bits and pieces. All right guys, I'm back and I have a little plot twist actually. The other day I finished two of the ghosts of the shoe. I didn't show you how I filled out the ghost due to the fact I figured out a complete new hack, way, technique, I don't know how to call it, how to embroider through thick material. And I'm not joking, I've literally ruined my needle. I, I don't know how this could have happened, but it's broken. And with the new technique, actually, it's way faster and the end result is way cleaner and you do not have to work with your fingers. This technique, we are going to use pliers. So for this new technique, actually, I'm going to use a thicker needle because the other one broke. We are using a three-stranded yarn. What we are going to do is we are putting the thread through our needle. This time we are going to pull it all the way through so that the two strands are as long as each other. Then we are closing both strands with a simple knot. Then we are going to take our shoe and I think like when you work from the inside it's quite hard to work with the tool from the inside but what I do is I slightly poke the needle and then I take my pliers, grab that needle with the pliers, and then I poke my needle through the shoe. I always feel like, I, like I'm doing a surgery or something like that, but you should figure out a way actually how to use the plier also on the other side to embroider, and this will get easier than using your fingers because you do everything with your hand and not with the fingers. Also guys, if you are working with your embroidery needle this way with the pliers, be always careful that you don't hurt yourself actually because while you are working with this plier, you lose kind of the feeling of the needle and sometimes the needle rushes through the um, material and then it can be that something happens, I don't know, and you poke yourself. So please be careful. What I can fully recommend is to stabilize the shoe with something, I don't know, I'm using for example my body and the table to kind of stabilize the shoe. Oh, bitch, I'm a ghost. I could go on for days and days, yeah, I do the most. Wait, 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 wait. I'm beating her back, back. She is 
Say you're my song. Oh. Guys, I'm done. The shoe is done. I've decided to only do one shoe, unfortunately, because it took me so long for this one shoe. What I did in the end to the shoe is that I've also ironed it because I always iron my embroidery to clean it up and have it more like sealed together. If you like this video, feel free to give it some thumbs up, of course. And if you haven't subscribed to the channel yet, then feel free to subscribe to the channel for more DIY videos in the future. I really like to keep up the embroidery content. Also check out my social media links, which are like linked in the screen. And yeah, I can't wait to be back in the next video and I can't wait to be back with a new DIY for you guys. And and yeah, that's it actually. See you guys soon. Bye-bye. Ciao.